Right, before I carry on, um, I just want to say uh, I, I appreciate that some of what I'm covering seems sort of rather laborious, uh, but this is where we're learning certain aspects of the grammar of, of Max MSP and, and how objects interact and what's being sent from where, what to where, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's why I'm kind of covering it at this stage. I, I appreciate that it's probably not all going to go in, um, <clears throat> but I'm hoping that the tutorials that are uh, because they're sitting there and you can come back to them you can you know further down the line where there may be as I say things that you've missed um, if you listen to the tutorials again in say a two weeks time or something like that uh, when you've gone through certain other um, exercises and so on uh, you'll come back to these and then there'll be you know you'll you'll learn more of the things that you perhaps missed out on the first time you went through them um, anyway uh, so, so that's a kind of recommendation, really, is to, to come back and, and go through these again uh, later on. <clears throat> OK. Um, uh, what else can I tell you about this particular exercise? Very little, um, except to say that uh, what, what I didn't say before, um, although hopefully it was reasonably obvious, this um, 1,000 number in here on the right-hand side is a starting value. So as soon as you send something else to it from the right hand side here, then it overwrites what you've got uh, there. So as soon as I change this number box here and something new is sent into uh, the right hand side of Metro, um, you can completely ignore 1000 altogether. In fact, um, if I unlock the patch again, <coughs> I could get rid of this 1000 completely and the object will still run, as you would have seen from the tutorial zero zero, where I didn't put an argument in. Uh, incidentally, that's what the uh, the number on the right hand side was called. It's called an argument. I'll talk more about arguments later. Um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, each each object that you make in Max has a default value, um, so it doesn't necessarily, or most of them don't necessarily need an argument. They will just go automatically to their default value. For Metro, it's something like 5 milliseconds, I believe, uh, which means that it will try and output bangs every 5 milliseconds um, until you send it a number into its right-hand side, which overwrites that initial value. Um, so that's something perhaps worth knowing. In fact, it's definitely worth knowing. Anyway, we'll move on from this one for the moment to this one. I'll just hide the rest of that so it's not confusing. <clears throat> it might have seemed a little bit pointless having all of this um, here for this uh, little chunk of the exercise. Um, but again, there, there are reasons why I um, asked you to do it. Um, the uh, What's being sent to the... Uh, essentially, we've got the same setup as we had before. Uh, except that we've now got message boxes sending new values to... Uh, the toggle object and to the um, to the number box. <coughs> so um, in in the case of the number box, I can send a one thousand. Whoops, I need to lock the patch first. Sorry, I can send a one thousand or I can send a five hundred, and that's a good way of um, sending uh, messages without having to go through the process of of kind of clicking up and down. Um, to, to get to the value that you want. Uh, it may be that you want to go immediately rather than essentially getting a kind of uh, a cellarando or a ritardando in your, um, in your metro um, uh, output. Um, you can just go to one of these values immediately or to any other value that you send in. Um, <clears throat> so that's the reason for sending message box to the number object and of course you could bypass the number object altogether and simply send the message boxes straight to the right hand side of Metro. Um, but uh, as you see the number box at the moment is simply displaying and throughputting the number that uh, we're sending it. Actually you can't really see that because I haven't shown it to you yet. So at the moment it's 500 but if I click on this one uh, it slows down immediately. And same again. It speeds up. Um, and like I said uh, earlier or in another uh, part of this tutorial um, numbers are understood by different objects or different inlets in objects in different ways 
So here we've got another two message boxes with numbers in, but in this case they're being used to communicate with the toggle object, and if you remember the toggle object outputs ones and zeros, so again you can see from this number box here, which is displaying what uh, the toggle object is outputting, um, you get a one, and then you get a zero, and then you get a one, and then you get a zero. Um, which means, of course, that the toggle object also understands 1 and 0 as being on-off messages to it. So we could uh, send a 1 to the toggle object and then a 0 to the toggle object. Um, a little bit earlier I said that the uh, button object will send a bang, which tells the, object, the toggle object to toggle. So if I keep clicking on uh, the button object, then I can use that as a kind of on-off if I wanted to, in, a, in terms of communicating with the toggle object to tell it to turn on and off. There you go. Um, <clears throat> the difference is that um, with if I were to send a number to the toggle object, I wouldn't be toggling between it, because every time I send a 1, it just stays on, whereas if I send a 0 and I keep sending a 0, it stays off. Um, so here again, we've got number boxes sort of communicating with um, our toggle object which is communicating with Metro. And in the same way as over here, uh, you could completely bypass the toggle object altogether if I were to get rid of that and simply connect these two whoops, to the Metro object and lock the patch again. Then these two both communicate with Metro and tell it to turn on and off. So I don't even need the toggle object. Again, Metro understands numbers. It's not um, some arbitrary on-off message to Metro. It understands numbers as being one to turn on, zero to turn off, and that's quite an important distinction to understand. We're talking numbers in this case. Incidentally, if I were to, to connect a toggle to the Metro object, I'm just going to get rid of this Metro object, which I think some of you might do if you mistake the toggle object for a button object when you come to copy the patch. If you click on that, uh, then it starts the Metro, but I could click forever and I will never have the Metro stop because the Metro object doesn't understand a bang message as being a stop message. It always understands it as being a start message. Okay, so I will need to <coughs> in, uh, make a message object with a zero in it to turn it off, which I do like that. Okay, so there are a variety of ways of of, um, of uh, well, starting and stopping, but you know that that the the distinction between as I say, that's a sort of on-off versus a zero-one message. It's the zero or one message that Metro understands as being on or off. Again, sorry to labour points, uh, but uh, these are important things to understand. So, we move on to the next bit, which is this one up here. <coughs> okay, how are we doing for time? Not much time left. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to stop and start again with a new... Uh, YouTube video, otherwise I'll run out of time.